And so we're going to talk about how beautiful, what a blessing this thing is. Hey, this is Lorena and we're going to do a laser video today. I did this footage. <laughs> it just, everything went wrong. But I lost the footage, but someone asked me about this toolbox. My husband decided that he wanted to do a toolbox and he said that he could make it to have the laser sit on it. And I didn't believe him because, you know, I'm a woman. And he was right. He, he was like, he's like so thoughtful. While I wrestled and fought with him all along, but he says, it will work. I know what I'm doing. You gotta trust me. And so here, I trusted him and he got me this. It is a toolbox, it's a Husky toolbox. And he put it all together, but I'm gonna kind of share with you what you need if you wanna do this. It has beautiful drawers. It fits a whole bunch of stuff in it. I love it because I don't have a lot of room. So let's talk about what materials you're gonna need. Of course, you're gonna need a toolbox. Yes, a toolbox, and if you look here, my dogs, they're annoying, okay? You're also gonna need three brackets, or I decided for three, he said you could do it with two. They were industrial 90 degree shelf brackets. I got three of them because I felt like I needed more support. I also got a big piece of lumber wood that you would put in a shelf, you know, like in your closet on the top shelf thing. It was really long, but I had Home Depot cut it to the size of this beautiful toolbox. And you're also gonna need some, I'll put it nuts, bolts, and what is it? Something else, but whatever it is, I'll have it here, okay? So after you have the supply clips, you're gonna have to, the supply clips, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just, <sighs> the next thing you're gonna need is someone who knows how to drill holes into a toolbox. My husband used the brackets to align where he needed to drill the holes. He also, before you do any of that, you have to take all the drawers out so that you could go on the inside. He went ahead and marked where the brackets are gonna go. He found center on the toolbox, marked the holes, and drilled into the, yeah, he drilled into that. I was like, really? We just paid 500 and something dollars and you're gonna drill holes. But okay, I trust you. <laughs> then he had my son help him screw in the brackets with Loctite screws and he screwed it in from the inside and he did like a dry fit. After he did a dry fit, he had the brackets on, he went ahead and put the piece of wood and laid the wood on top and he marked with a sharpie where he needed to put the wood screws in. And after that he wood screwed it in and he kind of did like a dry mock up to find out exactly how it fit. At this time, I went ahead and got my sander and I sanded the wood that's behind this toolbox to kind of make sure that it's nice and level. Um, while he was fitting it, he also had me holding the wood to make sure that it was flush to the table itself so it was like a continuation on the back. He also saw that he had to cut the bracket down a little bit because it was extending out some because the wood was shorter than the bracket extension. And so he literally cut that off with like a drill, like a saw of some kind. Don't ask me. It was the man who did it, okay? My husband had to cut these. Also, another hole. After he did the dry fit, he took it apart because the shelf on the back would not fit through the doorway. So we went ahead and brought in the toolbox and reinstalled the shelving brackets that he used, reinstalled the wood, and kind of started putting it all together. While he was putting it together, keep in mind that my son was on the inside of the toolbox while my husband was on the outside, screwing it in because someone had to hold the bolt so it wouldn't just keep rotating. And that's something to keep in mind that someone else is gonna have to help you to do this. Um, after he put it together, we went ahead and put all the drawers back and we also ended up having to have a couple other people help us lift the laser. Because it's taller, it's harder to lift in the position that it was in. You really have to push up 
and move it. So you need probably like four people to help you lift it on the table. The toolbox is um, 24.5 and it's 52 inches wide. So you can see. The height is about 37 and a half. And this is what the side looks like. And this is what the front looks like. My husband ended up getting a piece of wood that was about 11 and a half. You can make it longer if you wanted to. My husband got some nuts and used Loctide to, um, to lock them in. So in the vibration, they did not come out. We could have gotten a bigger piece of wood, which would have extended it out. And then we wouldn't have had to cut this down. But this is wood that you put in a closet shelf. So this is... 52 or 53 the size of this plus we added 11 and a half and we tried to like sand it down to where it's level we got these industrial brackets we got three you could put up to five my husband was only going to do two i asked him to do three and we also use these Come on, focus these bolts right here. Because we had a cut, he also had to drill a hole here. An inch thick. It's the same thickness as this. You can see how I have some extra room on this side, and you can also see how thick that wood is. And this is what it looks like in the back. Now I have a window here, so I have it kind of like, this is where I exhaust out. You can also see how much space I have here. You don't see that I have a lot of space on the front of the machine or on the back of the machine. So this is the drawers, the straws. We'll learn how to laser these. My sandpaper project that I epically failed on, but it's okay. Let me show you door number two. They're a little bit shallower, but what I love about it is I have um, clear acrylic here, one eighth inch, and then I have colored acrylic. I got a sample color acrylic or clear acrylic, and then this drawer has all my color acrylic that is one eighth. Then on this bottom drawer, I have the quarter inch acrylic, and I ended up putting one eighth colored acrylic here. And then you go here, my a little bit more one eighth. It fits a lot of acrylic in here. So here's my cedar wood, and this is really great wood that I need to order some more. I lasered earrings and stuff with this wood and it all shredded. So I need to find something else to make with this wood, but I don't want to get rid of it because I think maybe I can make like toys with it. And this is the tumbler drawer. I did have them kind of spread out, but now I'm piling them on top of each other. So these are the small tumblers and then these are the taller tumblers and these are the very big tumblers. <laughs> I want to share this drawer right here. It literally fits 40 cans in here. And uh, if I want need more space, it still closes with one. I am pretty much eye level to the laser. Now this is a pretty small laser, so I can reach to the back. I am also 5'6", so I'm a pretty tall person in compared to Sin, to a shorty, I'm pretty tall. So I could reach back without any problems. The only thing to think about when you're doing this is that I cannot see the controller. I can't see it. 
I purchased these at Amazon. They're metal frames and it's just wood. And it doesn't get in the way of me getting into anything. And now you can see me getting up here and I can see the controller. That's kind of like the only factor because it's so tall that I can't get to the controller right off. I'm also taller, so me reaching to the back of the machine is not problematic. It hasn't been problematic, but if you're short, I'm sure it could be a factor. Sorry. problem is if you're really short because for me I do need a step up to get to the controller but I don't need to um, the step is sufficient and I can get to all areas of the laser it's not so big that I can't get to the deep areas flare-ups I could see them especially if I take the honeycomb out but uh, yeah it's uh, making me some earrings right now Reason number one why I love it is it has so much storage. To be honest, um, I had it kind of messed up so I had to reorganize everything. It fits so much stuff. And it has kept everything kind of in the perfect placement that I needed. I also do have it for my embroidery machines. And it's worked great for the embroidery too. And it was my husband or my son who asked me if I should put a toolbox for embroidery and I never thought a toolbox would work for the laser. But let me just say, it works beautifully. Mwah. Yeah, it's easy to get to the water chiller if I have to. It's easy to get the exhaust because I'm level to it. And it's just a really, my husband, he's a genius. Yeah, I shouldn't have questioned his geniusness, you know what I mean? You shouldn't question a genius when they're trying to be geniuses in front of you. Glasses. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next laser video. <laughs> I wonder if I look okay.